Hey everyone, I'm Brian with the Donatucci Branch Library. And if you didn't know, Sunday is the World No Tobacco Day. So if you've been thinking about smoking, here's your chance. Sunday will be the perfect day. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something about myself. I used to be a smoker. Uh, I quit a little over six years ago. All right, uh, it was hard. And, you know, like any other smoker, I tried multiple, multiple times. It took a lot of times for me to quit. And I finally got it, you know. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to share with you some tips and some resources that I found that can really help you quit. So first things first, you have to really want to quit, okay. You can't, you can't just do it like halfway. Um, if you're thinking about the switching to vaping, that, you know, it's just a crutch. You know, if you are vaping, you probably still want to quit. You know it's still harmful. There, there's different studies. Some say it could be, it's better for you. Some say it's worse. Look, I'm not getting into that to be, I'm not going to lecture anyone. But the best way is just to quit everything. Just quit cold turkey. Or with an aid, like um, the, the, the patch or the gum or whatever. I'm going to get into that. But um, just so you know, you can call. There's a number. 1-800-QUIT-NOW and I believe they will actually send you a patch or they might send you the gum or things I use they're called lozenges um, they're basically they look like little candies and whenever you have a craving you just pop them in your mouth and they kind of dissolve over time you just leave it in your mouth for a while and the good thing I liked about, the thing I liked about them because that's what worked for me was after a while you know after I think like two weeks I started breaking them in half and then like another two weeks went by I started breaking them into quarters and I was able to wean myself off of them like that you know um, so that just worked for me I mean I, I was thinking about doing the gum but I have a habit of swallowing my gum so I knew that was probably only a bad idea if I had knicker at gum in my stomach I, I didn't want to get sick and stuff so I decided to to opt out of that but if you call 1-800-QUIT-NOW, they'll, they'll tell you what you can do. Um, you can also, there's a website, I'm going to put it up on my screen right now. You can go to that website and I believe you can request the same information you would get on 1-800-QUIT-NOW. I didn't really look into it, I just found the website real quick so I decided to post it. But um, also, you know, a good thing to do is there, there's quit smoking apps that you can get on your phone. And you, you type in, like, you know, you quit smoking today. And it's going to keep track of how many days you didn't smoke. Not only that, but it also keeps track of how much money you saved. And it's a good motivational tool, you know. It can really help you. Um, so, I'm going to tell you how I quit smoking. And hopefully these tips can help, okay. So, the night before I quit smoking, what I did, I took, I smoked my last cigarette. Because I, I wanted to start a fresh new day. You know, because I wake up in the morning, I just wanted to start fresh. You know, so what I did was I took my cigarettes the night before, and I flushed them all down the toilet. I was thinking about just throwing them out, but I know myself, and I probably just would have been feeding for a cigarette so bad that I would just pick them out the trash and smoke, because that's, that's what addiction does, you know. It, you know, I know myself. I know how I am. But, I, so I flushed them all down the toilet, so I couldn't even have that urge when I first wake up. Because when I first woke up, that was when I wanted the cigarette the worst. But if I didn't have any cigarettes right there, then, you know, I, I couldn't do that. I just completely eliminated that, that situation. So, also, you want to get rid of all your ashtrays. Maybe wash your clothes that smell like cigarettes. Clean up a little bit. Anything that reminds you of cigarettes, get rid of. You know, anything you could do. Do it all the night before. So when you wake up in the morning, you could just have a new, fresh start to life, all right? And what you want to do is, you want to drink a lot of water. I don't know how it helps, but it does, okay? You, you see on every quit smoking website that you see, drinking water is always, always one of the major tips. And it does, it just makes you feel healthier. Not only that, but like diet and exercise, you know? You start eating healthier. Um, you start exercising, going for walks. If you start feeling better, like you, you start doing that stuff, your body's going to feel better. And when you feel better, you're not going to want to do stuff that, that's going to, you know what I mean, make you feel bad. You're, not, you're going to be more resistant to going back to smoking if you do that. Um, now, this might seem a little hypocritical, but you also maybe want to keep a little candy on you. 
like Jolly Ranchers and stuff. I know that's not part of a healthy diet, but it does eliminate the urge to smoke. You know, just, you feel like having a cigarette? Just pop a little candy in your mouth. And also, one thing that really helped me was I took a straw, right? And a pair of scissors, and I just cut them down to about the size of the cigarette that I smoked. Okay? And I just carried this around with me all day. Whenever I had an urge to smoke a cigarette, I'll puff on it. Just like a cigarette. Because if you try to quit before, you know just this motion and inhaling is just it's one thing that you miss, you know, it's not always just about the nicotine, like it's the actual habit of doing this and carrying this little straw around with you is very helpful and you know, like if, if you work and you, you're used to taking cigarette breaks, take your cigarette breaks, but use a straw, go outside, like I don't know, like, it, it really helped me. Like, this is, the, this is the main thing that helped me get by, because all the other times I tried to quit smoking, I did everything else except for this. And this last time, I did this, and it worked. It might just be a coincidence, I don't know, but, it, like, what do you got to lose? You know, try it, you know what I mean? It might, it might help you a lot. Um, also, for me, I, like, I don't drink, but if you do drink, you might want to consider not drinking for a while. Just until you at least have a couple months, no cigarettes. Because you know if you drink, for me at least, I, every time I drank, I used to drink years ago, but every time I drank, I just I needed a cigarette. I tried to quit smoking before, and I'll go out drinking and have a couple beers in me, I need a cigarette. You know, it's, it just they went hand in hand with me. Um, so if you do drink, you might want to consider just cutting down for a little while, just until you get the cigarettes under control. Um, listen, and you're, you're going to get urges, okay? It's going to happen, you know. Um, if you get an urge, best thing to do is to call someone. Or maybe just go for a quick walk or exercise, you know. Uh, but calling someone can help. Like, you, you'd be surprised what a five-minute conversation can do. Like, just call, be like, hey, man, I like, you know, I'm trying to quit, and, you know, I'm really having an urge right now. Can you just talk to me for a couple minutes? You know, like, call a family member, call a friend, whoever. It doesn't matter, you know. Like it's it's good to have a good support team like that. And, you know, if you do end up smoking, look, it's not the end of the world, okay? Just try again. You know, some, like I said, I try to quit at least, like, ten times in my life. But just try again, try again, try again, okay? Um, what do you do if you fall down? You get back up, right? You're not going to stay on the ground. So if you, if, you, if you slip up with a cigarette, why are you going to stay on the ground and keep smoking? Just get back up. Just quit. It's, tomorrow's a new day. Just start, you know? And, um, you know, I, I wish you all the best of luck. If you're quitting about, if thinking about quitting smoking, I really do wish you the best of luck. And let me tell you this. If I did it, I know you can do it. I know you can. Because I was a heavy smoker. All right? And millions of people in this world have quit smoking before so you are not alone you can do this okay and sunday is the perfect day so saturday night cut all your cigarettes off throw them in the tool lit flush it all right clean your house clean your clothes get rid of your ashtrays and wake up in the morning go for a little jog or a walk and drink lots of water eat healthy you know um you can get through this it's gonna be tough i'm not gonna lie to you it's gonna be tough but it's possible and it's so rewarding. I can breathe so much better now. I don't have that smell on me anymore. I have money in my pocket now. Like, there's so many benefits to quit smoking. So, and once you once you do it, you're gonna see all those benefits. So you can be like, wow, like I wish I would have done this years ago. So, I hope this video has helped. I hope this video helped y'all, and I will see you all next time. You have a good day, right? Bye.